first graders. Today for science, we are learning about the four seasons. One, two, three, four. Now, before we do some book work, I found a pretty groovy song for you. So feel free to watch this video and maybe do a little dance, all right? Here we go. Very much. Cold weather's kind of winter's thing. In spring, the plants get back their bling. By summer, they're in full swing. But in fall, their leaves go tumbling down, down, down to the bottom. Oh, that reminds me, some folks call fall autumn. Well, anyway, winter, spring, summer, fall. One year, four seasons in all. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Four seasons, you can count them all. Winter, spring, summer, fall. One year, four seasons in all. Winter, spring, summer, fall. And now you know them once and for all. first grade that was my fun little video about seasons hopefully you learned that we have what four of them that's right and we have summer fall winter and spring all right for today's science lesson you are going to need your handy dandy science book with a bear on it find that you are going to need a highlighter of some sorts and a pencil. But for today, Miss Wilhelm is going to be using a marker. You need a pencil in case any mistakes are made. I'm using a marker so it's easier for you to see. All right, if you need to pause to grab those things, go right ahead. Otherwise, we are going to get started. All right, today the page you are looking for is page 124. One, two, four. You will know you're on the right page when you see lesson three. What are the four seasons? Go ahead and pause again if you need to to get more time to find the right page. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, the title of this chapter or this lesson is, what are the four seasons? We know we have summer, fall, winter, spring, right? So the goal is, I will know how weather changes from season to season. And weather are those things that we talk about in the morning, you know, like if it's sunny or cloudy or rainy or snowy or windy, whatever the weather might be. So how does that change depending on which season we are in? The word to know, season. So hopefully you can name all four of those seasons and what the weather is like in them. So as always, the top picture goes first. Circle the picture that looks most like the season outside now. Well, when I'm recording this, it is the very beginning of March. Um, I still see snow on the ground. It's not currently snowing. It's kind of sunny, but I don't yet see things that tell me about spring like flowers or um, extra animals outside or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm still gonna circle this one. I'm still gonna circle winter because that's what it's like outside by me. But by the time you watch this, the weather is probably quite a bit different because I'm recording this way ahead. So go ahead, talk to your adult if you need to and ask them what season are you in right now, okay? That can change the picture. So go ahead, let's take a look. My Planet Diary, fact or fiction? Suppose it's winter where you live. You may think that it is winter everywhere, but it is not. People in the south half of the world are out swimming at the beach. It is summer there. The seasons in the south half of the world are the opposite as the seasons in the north half. So we live in the United States of America, right? We live in North America, which is in the north part of the world. Um, we do not live in the south part of the world. So it says, suppose it is spring where you live, which is just about to be spring right now in March. What, right? What season you think it is in the south? 
So we're in the north and the south is pretty much the opposite of what we are right now. So if we have spring, they have the other transitional season, which would be fall. We'll go ahead and write that. Now, other people call them um, season fall. They call it autumn. So you might hear either one. They're the same. When you're ready, let's go ahead and look at the next page, page 125. And this page, you guessed it, the heading says spring. So I'm guessing we're learning all about spring. Point your fingers ready, please. A season, there's your word, is a time of year. The four seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. Spring comes after winter. Spring is warmer than winter. Mm -hmm. Daylight begins to last longer in spring. The sun rises earlier than in the winter. The sun sets later than in the winter. So uh, really, you're going to feel like your days are just a little bit longer because it's uh, brighter out outside for longer. Days might be rainy. This helps plants grow because a lot of plants die in the winter. So they need a lot of that rain at the very beginning to help them grow. Many animals have babies in spring. So then it's a sequence. So that means first, then next, last. Right, what season comes after winter? So if everything got all frozen and snowy and cold in the winter, and things are starting to warm up, it's not yet summer, you are thinking about, go ahead and shout it out, spring. Good, now make sure you sound this word out all the way. So we have spr, and then ing. I know it's I-N-G. And I'm taking a look at this picture of those alligators and the caption it says, alligators lay their eggs in the spring. I didn't know that, I learned something new. All right, first graders, if you need more time, go ahead and pause, otherwise, turn the page. Okay, so I'm gonna scooch this over so you can see it. This one we are learning about summer and fall. Oh, summer, I love summer. Summer means no school. And that means it's warm outside and you can go swimming and sleep in. Okay, let's read about it. Summer comes after spring. Summer is warmer than spring. Summer can be very dry. Daylight lasts long in the summer. Many plants grow in the summer. Baby animals grow in the summer. Fall comes after summer. Fall is cooler than summer, which means it's a little bit colder out. Daylight begins to shorten in fall. Some leaves change colors. Some animals store food for the winter because they might be getting ready to hibernate. So it says, point to the summer picture. So between these two, which one represents summer do we think? Which one? A little bit louder. <gasps> yes, the top one, you're exactly right. So which one do you think shows fall? Mm -hmm. The one with the colorful leaves, right? Because leaves change in the fall. Compare summer and fall when you, where you live. So I want you to think about this. Uh, when you think about fall, you think about Halloween time, leaves are changing, getting a little bit colder outside, but you still have pretty long days. Now, when I think about summer, I think about hot days. I think about um, activities like swimming or playing outside. It's, you get kind of sweaty, it's hot out. I think about those differences where we live. But it says to write about how summer and fall are alike. So I want you to think about that for just a minute. Think about how summer and fall are alike. All right, did you think about it? How are summer and fall alike? Well, I'm thinking that I'm gonna write about playing outside because I know that's what you guys like to do a whole lot. Now I know the summer, I don't have to wear a snowsuit or a coat. In the fall, I might wear a light jacket, but I'm not wearing a snowsuit and a heavy winter coat, right? So how are summer and fall alike? Um, it is not too cold. And then I ran out of room, so I'm gonna come below. To play outside. And then I, oh, I almost forgot a period. 
There you go. Because I'm thinking about here in Illinois where we have some really cold days in the winter where it's so cold. Your parents probably tell you it's a better idea to stay inside, right? All right, go ahead and turn the page. If you need more time, you can pause. This one says winter. Winter comes after fall. Daylight is shortest in winter. Winter can be the coldest season. It snows in some places. We are one of those places that does get snow, but there are some states that don't ever get snow. Um, some plants die in winter. Some animals grow thick fur. The fur keeps them warm. Tell how winter where you live is different from the picture. Ooh, I don't know, this looks pretty similar. It might be a little bit colder there because I'm noticing those frozen branches. We don't always have frozen branches, just sometimes. And we usually have a good amount of snow. Now, what I really wanted you to notice is how in this picture you see a rabbit. Thick fur keeps the rabbit warm in winter. That's kind of like their version of putting on a heavy winter coat, right? All right, first graders, that is the end of our lesson. Let me see if I can... <gasps> There we go, there's my face. I want you to think about it and maybe tell your teacher the next time you see them, what is your favorite season? Summer, winter, fall, spring, whatever you're thinking in that head, I wanna know what's your favorite season? But either way, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm glad we got to do some learning about the four seasons. Um, please, please, please make sure you get to the rest of your afternoon jobs and I will see you later. Bye, everyone.